Ah! Ding dong. Oh, huh? Um... Who has come a-knocking at this hour? When I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. Oh, it's almost night. 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Yeah. Nighttime's about to start. So how come someone's here? Boop -a -boop -a -boop -a -boop. Oh, who doesn't love a late night visitor? Sorry. Like this. I'm really sorry to come by so late. Sayaka! You are like now in my idea. room. I like the idea. Oh, hell yeah. I like the idea of him not pronouncing her name right. Like. What's the Sayaka. Name of those noodles. Those, those noodles. Yakisoba. Is that it? <laughs> not soba, what are you doing here? <laughs> That's such a stretch. I don't know. Yeah. Say, Akka, what are you doing out so late? Say, Akka, what are you doing? <laughs> That's when I noticed. <laughs> Her body was trembling. In the good way or like the really bad way? We're about to find out, but based on the blue expression on her face her expression this is probably not her <laughs> not the her good way face. <laughs> is everything okay so sorry to bother you but something really weird just happened something really weird weirder something. than earlier when we i was at full staff in the av room or whatever the hell <laughs> and that bear came out of nowhere and said he wanted to join in <laughs> yeah i think on a scale of one to ten this is a solid nine as far as weird goes <laughs> something weird no, no. just a little while ago oh sorry no that's you oh just a little while ago i was laying down in my room and all of a sudden my door started no this is not supposed what? to be him and all of a sudden my door started rattling and shaking her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lung just huh. hearing her talk made me hands up so scared. well you were your instinct was correct that was supposed to be me but i had your name on it it was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get it, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. Yeah, baby. I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by, but then I got up and opened the door to check outside. Which probably wasn't smart, but no. there was nobody there. <laughs> Someone tried to force their way into your room. They beat me to it! Well, who would do something like that? I don't know, I'm a pop star, so I guess like anybody, I'm not like... Like everybody. I'm, yeah, it's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still it makes me nervous. What if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? I'd keep your door locked. Yeah, I, he said these locks are unpickable, unbreakable. Like, y you have nothing to worry about so long as you don't let anybody in. Right. You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during nighttime. Despite the fact that she's here in your room during nighttime. But that's yeah. just a promise we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise. Then why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you uh, feel yeah. a little better? Wink, 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 wink. What? All it said in the school regulations was that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in. So. Hey, um. Um, I, uh, but two people with sharing one room is, you know. Ah. Oh, geez. I'm sorry. I didn't even think about that. Uh-huh. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. Uh-huh. No, uh, I know me neither. I mean, me neither. It's not even that I, I mind the idea, but... Um... Dot to dot. If you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms just for tonight? Switch rooms? <laughs> God. God fucking... If, if it'll help put your mind at ease, then it's totally <laughs> fine with me. I'm dropping frames. Huh. I'm dropping frames. My frames are dropping. I'm s I'm very sorry to hear that. I'm dropping frames. Nice. Oh, oh, I see that. That's awful. Oh god. Ow. There are no frames. Okay, that's. There's better. no frames. There is now. I'm dropping frames. Wow. Wait. Wait. Oh nope. Okay. What? I, this mm, is, it's going this from is green to from red. Why? I don't know. That's strange. What is your computer doing? I don't know. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Technical difficulties. Ah, no! Ah! I'm dropping frames. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you're having a crisis. I can't hold all these frames and so therefore I am dropping them. The Leonardo da Vinci is going to be so mad at me. I keep dropping all these frames and he just wanted a frame and I can't even do that right. He's going to kick me out. He is pissed. Okay, I guess we're just going to continue for now. And Hopefully apologize. it doesn't get much worse. That's it. Mm. Okay, we're just going to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, if it'll help put your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me, but I don't mind you staying in my room, but are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? Might want to get all your undies out of there before I go in there. Just saying, does it doesn't like concern see. you? <laughs> it's okay, I don't wear underwear. What? Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I know. It was because, like, you know, the, the, the company that I work for, like, the recording studio, they were just like, you know what really is selling right now is <laughs> girls in school uniforms, no panties. So I just did it. Anyway. In that case, then. <laughs> Ding dong, bing bong. Wait. Oh. But now aren't we all trapped in here? Because it's night? <clears throat> no. So, so the rule... The rule is you can't sleep anywhere but your rooms. Right. The, the group okay. made a decision and said nobody go out at nighttime. Oh, okay. So th that's not a rule. Like, you can definitely go do it, but if, like, someone else figures it out, then they'll be like, why were you out at night? Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay. Um, oh man, it's already nighttime. Okay, so it's settled. I'll go to your room right now. Oh, if we're gonna trade rooms, we better trade keys too. <laughs> we'll have to trade keys. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. But you say over and over that that's not true. Huh, hey, aren't you gonna say you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? I'm going to murder you. Something resembling huh. a smile had made its way to her face. Thank goodness, it looks like she's already started to go back to normal. Okay, we'd better trade keys okay. then. Okay, let's do it. It's the let's... face of nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> we exchanged keys, and when I look back up at her again, there's another word expression there. Um, um, Makoto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it, no matter what. I won't. Same goes for you, say, Eka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Well, Otherwise, hold on. What's the point of even switching? But what if I need something out of here? Yeah. Oh, like by the, the way. Bathroom? Yeah. Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You just have to turn the knob, then lift up on the door when you pull it out. Just do Not that sure and the door bad. should open, no problem. Okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah, the water gets turned gonna, off. Are you gonna, like, tinkle right before bed? Like, in the you gotta, You gotta poopy? Maybe you gotta poopy you gotta before end? sleep. You gotta oh, that's right. I totally forgot. <laughs> but I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning. So thank you. Okay, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, there. Sayaka. Hey, um... Goodbye. Oh, and what about what I said? I'm sorry, about what I said before. <laughs> when I said I was psychic, it was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I but know. You're a weak gazelle. <laughs> Good night then. Um. <laughs> See you in the morning. Sayaka gave me one last parting smile, and I headed off to my room. Yeah, uh, I'm in the hall now. I looked around as soon as I got out into the hall. Everyone else's doors were closed. There was no sign of life. Everybody died. Good. There's yeah. nobody here. Making sure nobody was around to spot me, I rushed into Sayaka's room. Hey yeah, we're in Sayaka's room. You can tell it's for a girl because the bedding <laughs> is pink. Do, do you think she slept on this bed? Yes. <laughs> so this is Sayaka's room. It doesn't really look any different from mine. It smells nice, though. Uh, yeah. Smells of woman. <laughs> Stuff. You should probably investigate all her stuff. Yeah. What are you throwing away? It's 
kind of weird to dig through other people's trash, but I couldn't help taking a quick peek. That's... There wasn't any doubt about it. It was the DVD with her name on it that we found in the AV room. Do we have a TV in here? That reminds me! I never did get a chance to find out what was in her video, but it's probably best if I wait until she brings it up again. Oh, if you had... Okay. Be that guy. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. I guess I shouldn't be surprised to find one in here, too. Her bathroom. Uh, if I remember right, all the girls' private bathrooms have locks on them. I'm a little reluctant to go in. You should totally go in. You should definitely go in. In fact, you should sleep in there. It's Double the lock. safest place. The bed itself looks exactly the same, but knowing Sayaka slept on it makes me look forward to tr trying it out for myself. Nice. She pooped out a coin. Good coin. Surveillance camera. It makes sense there'd be one in here. Uh-huh. Drawer. My room came with a toolkit, but Sayaka's has a sewing kit, just like the note oh, said. Awesome. Next to it is the map of the body's vital organs. Nice. I don't think Sayaka would like me snooping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. As I lowered myself onto Sayaka's bed, a pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Sayaka's scent. Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams. Or... Feeling a little bit better than before I fell asleep. Great. Theater time. Hello. This is, this is Goofy. Imagine you're in a... all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're the sort of like that. We've set sail and left Earth behind. Here, you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drug drivers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game. But, you that our divide world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I've made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! New guidelines. Great. 